Don't talk about me. I know this is not butter, y'all. But this is our butter. This is black folks' butter, all right? Welcome back to my channel and yes it is still Christmas day well night now and yes I am still in my PJs but as promised I told y'all I would show y'all how I make my seafood boils so we're about to get cooking now so the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 I like to boil mine in the oven as opposed to on a pot on the stove so we have snow crab lid we got some corn potatoes you can use sausage if you want to use sausage but um we usually don't use that oh and i gotta get the shrimp you need some raw shrimp jumbo pine it could be frozen doesn't have to be thawed out or anything and these are some of the ingredients you're going to need well most of the ingredients you're going to need your um boil bags you're gonna need butter you're gonna need some crawfish shrimp and crab boil this is the only kind i use i don't know if they have other ones but i always get this one you need some old bay now most of this is for the sauce but if you don't want sauce on you could just use butter but i always make me a good sauce to go with it so you need some crushed red pepper lemon pepper parsley flakes garlic powder black pepper some tonies this is the creole seasoning kind but you can use the regular tonies paprika minced garlic and some hot sauce so i'm gonna go ahead and get my corn and potatoes ready first I like to cook those ahead of time in the microwave so I'll just go ahead and transfer those into a microwave safe bowl and I'll put it on about eight minutes and just checking and making sure it's not getting too soft because if it's too mushy it just won't be right so now you just want to go ahead and rinse your crab legs off and get them ready to go in the pants. stick a knife in them but not really really softly i'm gonna cook these later in the bag so that's why i don't want to cook them all the way so now you want to take your crab legs and on the top cluster part you just want to put butter so it gets into all of this part right here all that good stuff
want to get your oven bags ready i like to use the reynolds kitchen oven bags it comes two in a pack and it's the turkey size so it's big and oversized and i already have my pans ready to put those in right here so i'm going to take those out right now we're just going to place our clusters right on in the bag nothing fancy i got a super person so this should be enough hopefully So we're gonna add some more butter. Don't talk about me. I know this is not butter, y'all, but this is our butter. This is black folks butter, all right? So this is what we're gonna use. So you just wanna take some um, heaps of butter, get that in there. Just like to do like two little dollops. Cause you're gonna have your sauce anyway, so you don't have to have too much butter. right now because it'll be too mushy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this first for about 20 minutes then we're gonna take it out add the corn and the potatoes and put it back in for another 20 minutes as well or until you think they're done they're bright red so you just want to sprinkle some of this in there make sure it's getting all over Also gonna add some old bay for seasoning as well. Make sure you add enough. We don't want no bland seafood, y'all. We definitely want some taste in there. Then I'm gonna add, uh, if I had some real lemons, I'm gonna use real lemons, but we don't have any right now. So I'm just gonna use some lemon juice. Add that on in there. Just a few shakes. For taste. And then I'm gonna add uh, about a half a teaspoon of minced garlic to each one. You just wanna spread that around in there. Okay. Now these are ready to go in the oven, like I said, for about 20 minutes. And while they're in the oven, we're gonna make the sauce. sauce is kind of up to you how much you want to make so you kind of just have to eyeball it um, and see how much of the butter you want to use for it so I'm gonna use about uh, about four tablespoons of that and then you want to add a little bit of your minced garlic and you're gonna let that cook for a little bit first too much garlic you want to just turn it on and let that cook first now when that starts getting all melty and stuff and then you're gonna want to add about one teaspoon of each of the seasonings that I showed you earlier so while that's going I'm gonna go ahead and get the seasonings in another bowl all mixed up
gonna take that and just mix that up. And it is gonna look kind of pasty, but it's okay because it's all gonna cook down in the butter. Okay, so we got the butter and the garlic all melted down. You just wanna add that little paste that you made with the seasonings right to it. And make sure you're consistently stirring that so it doesn't get clumped up. And that's pretty much all you have to do for your sauce. If you wanna add anything more to taste that you like, you can add more. If you wanna take some out, you can most definitely do that. It's your sauce, however you want it to taste. That's how you can have it. So it's been about 20 minutes. All you wanna do now is plop your corn, potatoes, and shrimp in the bags and cook for another 20 minutes. Now it's up to you if you wanna add your sauce in there, but I like to have mine on the side. step for my seafood boils I don't know how everybody else does it but that's how I do mine and it comes out delicious so I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this it has been a great Christmas so I will check in with you all in the next video mm -hmm.